Hey guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new Call of Duty mobile video. Today we talk about the upcoming Season 9, but more specifically about the Gunsmith feature, because COD Mobile just made a huge design decision and people are frustrated right now. So we're going to say what's going on, what they decided to change, and why people are mad right now. So let's get started. And before we start, once again, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now for daily COD Mobile videos. Also, check out the merch link in the description. So let's get started, guys. Yesterday, COD Mobile posted another community update on Reddit about the upcoming Season 9. And they made a huge announcement. So first of all, about the release date of Season 9, because people still ask, the update is coming soon. That's the official statement from Activision, guys. But they say jokes aside, the update is coming next week. Okay, next week is the official statement. So everything you hear right now, if you hear it's coming on the 13th, it's coming on, on the 15th, it's all rumors, it is not official. There's no official date, guys. They did not announce an official date, so expect it next week. That's all we know for now. Now, once again, they announced what's coming in the update and what's up until the update. Now, there's a knife nuclear file available right now. But we're going to talk about the gunsmith, guys. Of course, it's been confirmed. We are getting the gunsmith. And uh, they did announce something that is very shocking right now. People were not expecting that. And people are mad. Now, before we go into details, well, here's exactly how it works and why we have officially from Activision. So there's a lot about the gunsmith, but here's the major changes they wanted to highlight, okay? All base weapons can be unlocked by grinding across different systems. So basically, all the players in the game will have access to all the base weapons. Every different weapon that exists, you will be able to acquire the base version, okay? So either by the new level up rewards, that's one way to get weapons. Now, when you level up, you acquire some weapons. So that will be changed. I know you guys saw some leaks about the Razorback will be available here at level 10 by leveling up. So that's pretty cool. And that is one way to acquire weapons. Now, within the free battle pass is another way to acquire the newly released weapons. The DRH, the QQ9 recently, they've been releasing weapons through the free battle pass. So you don't have to buy but you have to play. If you don't play much during the season and you don't reach the reward, you don't unlock the gun. Now, if you don't unlock a gun, if you miss the gun, you have to wait for it to be released in the credit store. But what they say right below is by owning or acquiring any variant of a gun, an uncommon, a rare, an epic skin, if you don't have the base version, but you get a rare in an event, well, you will unlock the base version of the gun. So pretty much everyone will have all the weapons. Now, what they say is all the different weapons, the base versions will have grindable camels that you can grind. And the epic and legendary weapons will now be blueprints. Now, what they say about blueprints is they're, they are pre-made weapons that allow you to utilize a unique design or unique setup regardless of your weapon level for that type. So what it means is Usually you will have to level up your weapons to unlock uh, the different attachments. But if you have an epic or a legendary, even if you have a low level weapon, that blueprint will be a pre-made weapon setup, even if it's got some attachments that you didn't unlock already. Then all the other weapons that you have right now that are lower rarities, like rares and uncommons, they will be camels. You will be able to select some camels and apply them to your weapons. Now, what about the blueprints? If you have a legendary QQ9, can you apply a camo on it? They were not super specific, but they say some blueprints, you will be able to slap uh, some camos on them, okay? So let's say you have a legendary QQ9, so it's got a different model. Well, you can put a different camo but they say it's pretty basic right now. So we will have to wait and see exactly what you can do with them. Now for the other customizations, the new stuff they will adding like uh, stickers and reticles and stuff, they will be available for all weapons. Now here's a new major change, the weapon XP progression system. Now in the old system, you had many different AK-117s for example. And if you want to use one, you have to level it up to unlock the attachments. And then if you want to use the other one, you have to start and level it up again by playing a lot or using XP cards. So you have to level up a bunch of AK-117s to use them all. Now in the new system, 
you only have to level up the base weapon. So the AK-117 basic weapon, you level it up and then you can just put any skin on it or any camo on it and use it. The difference though is in the past we only had like 10 to 12 levels depending on the rarity and the new system is gonna be a lot more, it's gonna be 50 plus. Now here's how it's gonna work. They say your weapon variant with the highest level right now is gonna determine your new overall level for the update. So let's say you have one AK-117 right now that is, well, there's the example. If you have a level eight AK-117, well, when the new update drops, your AK-117 will be level eight. If you have a level 10 117, well, your level 10 117 in the update is gonna be your new level. But you're gonna have to level up your weapons now because you're gonna have to unlock a lot of new attachments. And it's, it says it's gonna vary depending on the weapons, but they say 50 plus. Uh, I read 60 somewhere also. And they say every level you unlock will give you a new attachment. So imagine 50 levels, 50 attachments, and some weapons will have more. So it's going to be pretty exciting. But here's the big drama, guys. Because there was some leaks and there was also a test server where they're testing some new features like the gunsmith. And what people were expecting is like right now, if you have 10 AK-117 that, and they're all level 12, all the XP from all your AK-117s were gonna transfer in the test server. So instead of starting at level 12, you would go like level 26 or something. It's a huge XP bump. Well, Call of Duty Mobile made a decision and they decided with a new design that everyone will start at level eight or level 12, depending on your highest weapon, not on all your weapons that you leveled up. So that's why people are mad right now because they were expecting something and people build their expectations based on unofficial leakers, unofficial accounts on social medias, but also they build their expectations based on the test server. And once again, the test server is not a season nine beta. It's a test. They're trying stuff and based on that, they make decisions. Now they made a decision and people are not happy. Now we're going to come back to this. Uh, Q&A here, first question, how will my weapons update if I have multiple different versions of the same type of weapon? So they say it will only carry over to the highest level, that is confirmed here. Just one leveling system for each weapon type. So you only have to level up once for all your AK-117. Now question number two, how do weapon rarities change? Well, they confirm again, if you have uncommon and rare versions, it's gonna be some camos now that you will have and you can put them on your weapon. If you have some epics, if you have some legendaries, it's gonna be blueprints because they have different models, sometimes different looks. And once again, uh, you will have some attachments available on your blueprints, even if you didn't unlock them already. And they say from level 10 to level 60 now for some weapons. So that's where I read the level 60. Uh, available in the new update. Now here again, they say, how do you unlock the attachments? They say by playing or by using XP card. And once again, one level, one attachment. Now I'm not gonna go into the BR specifics. I already made a video about that guys. So you can check my battle royale update uh, video for that. But gunsmith is gonna be different for BR. Uh, we did talk about it a little bit. And then again, they confirm shipment 1944. Now here's some questions and answers from the comment section, guys, that I wanted to copy and paste here because I thought it was pretty important. So once again, someone asks, so if I max out multiple AK-117s, uh, is it not all gonna go to the 50 ranks? Like all the XP I put on all my different weapons? And someone answered here, no. If you have your highest is level 10, it's gonna be level 10. And Call Mobile official confirm exactly that. That's what we wanted to clarify. And then there was a really heated thread and heated comment. A lot of people are bumping it up and they confirm again. Sorry guys, I know you guys are uh, maybe frustrated, but this is the first official news they posted. So why were you expecting something else? If we never announced anything, we were just testing stuff. And now you guys are mad because of a decision we made. So it, we're afraid it's just how the design ended up after exploring multiple options. They were debating multiple options 
and on how to consolidate XP. And I know some guys will lose more XP because they spend more XP cards on a bunch of different weapons. And some guys were not leveling up their weapons and they have tons of XP cards. But that's what they decided. That was either that or just everyone starts from scratch. So at least you get a head start if you have a high level weapon. What I would do right now, guys, before the update is check all your weapon types and maybe at least have one max level of all different weapon types. I have an epic or legendary because it's level 12 or something. Try to have at least one of each max before the update. And that's going to be your starting point. You cannot start higher for now. And that is the official word right now with less than a week to go before the update. I don't think it's going to change, guys. So that is going to be it for today, guys. Brand new Gunsmith coming to the next uh, update. I'm really excited for Gunsmith. I think it's going to be amazing. I have a lot of customizations to explore. Uh, it's going to be a fresh wind to Call of Duty Mobile. And once again, I, and I will say it often, and I said it in the past, Cut Mobile leaks are super cool. There's a lot of stuff found in the game files. But don't take everything for granted. It is cool to see what's coming, but it's not all coming for sure, and it's still subject to change. Same thing for the test servers. It's not a beta, it's a test. They're trying stuff. It's always gonna change. You can make decisions, and always wait for the official announcement before you make your mind about something, because then you end up having frustrations about something that was never officially announced. So that's it for today. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, guys, smash like, leave a comment below. And once again, subscribe to the channel for daily cut mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.